This video is sponsored by Chugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, June 19, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Fisker files for bankruptcy. Electric vehicle startup Fisker filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection on Monday after it suspended operations earlier this year. Fisker stock plunged in March as investors worried about the company's ability to survive amid a cash crunch. The auto company also said it would slash 15% of its workforce. ABC News reported electric vehicle maker Fisker filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection, the second electric startup to do so in the last year as even industry leaders struggled to lure more buyers beyond the early adapters of the technology. Fisker Group Inc. said in a filing with U.S. Bankruptcy Court in Delaware that its estimated assets were between $500 million and $1 billion. Its estimated liabilities are between $100 million and $500 million with between 200 and 999 creditors. Quote, like other companies in the electric vehicle industry, we have faced various market and microeconomic headwinds that have impacted our ability to operate efficiently, the company said in a prepared statement late Monday. After evaluating all options for our business, we determined that proceedings with the sale of our assets under Chapter 11 is the most viable path forward for the company. Recall that Henrik Fisker previously owned Fisker Automotive, which produced the electric vehicle hybrid called Fisker Karma. I think that says it all. That company filed for bankruptcy in 2013 after the Obama administration loaned it millions of dollars. Obama knew Fisker Karma was going bust, but he gave the aligning company millions anyway. Sounds like another slush fund. At least 36 of Obama's taxpayer-funded green energy projects have gone belly up. Solyndra being the biggest green scam thus far. God bless you and yours. We see exactly what's going on. It's another Ukrainian war. Please share, subscribe, and always remember anything's possible in Bizarro World.